pilot MC, H minus three Hi, minutes. Please maintain radio silence till the end of the run. Okay, everybody stay off the radio. NASA does not allow American astronauts to drink alcohol in space. Russia has no such policy. Russian cosmonauts are allowed to drink alcohol, such as this vodka, while on missions. Astronauts on the moon use brushes like this one to remove the lunar dust from their suits before entering the lunar module. This was not only for their comfort, but also because the dust could contaminate the environmental control system. It is on loan to the Cosmosphere from the National Air and Space Museum. Black rubber hand molds, such as this one, were used to create the gloves used during the Apollo program. Used on Apollo 12 and Apollo 14, scoops like the one here were used to collect soil samples on the moon. It is on loan to the Cosmosphere from the National Air and Space Museum. The Apollo bioharness assembly was worn under the spacesuit and helped mission control monitor the astronaut's heart rate and other physiological functions. It is on loan to the Cosmosphere from NASA. As part of the Mark IV full pressure suit, this helmet was developed for the U.S. Navy in the 1950s. The series was later modified to become the spacesuit for Mercury astronauts. The A1C helmet was worn for training purposes during the Apollo program, but never used on a mission. Produced by Boeing, this is called the Disposable Absorption Containment Trunk. It was originally designed for female astronauts to use during launch or spacewalks any time the toilet was not accessible. Now male and female astronauts use it while in their pressure suits. Shingles surrounded the spacecraft to provide protection during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. This shingle was flown on the Gemini 3 mission in 1965. Miss Baker was a squirrel monkey who was one of the first animals America returned safely from space. The photo is autographed with Miss Baker's paw print and was addressed to the Apollo 17 crew. It is on loan to the Cosmosphere from NASA. This flight suit was worn by helicopter pilot Jim Lewis while he tried to recover the Liberty Bell 7 capsule before it sank to the bottom of the ocean in 1961.